How much money would I really be looking at investing in the market? Now, there are four key questions that I'm going to be asking myself and I'm going to be asking you guys as well. We're going to be answering this question together and then we can basically come to a conclusion as to how much money we're going to use to start trading um, as absolutely newbies in this market. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapo Willis. I'm a serial entrepreneur who just loves to make money online. Now, like I said earlier, today I'm going to be speaking about a topic that I seem to get asked over and over again. And the question goes, how much money do I need to start trading the foreign exchange market? Now, I have my very good friend here, Mr. Whiteboard. Mr. Whiteboard is basically going to be helping me illustrate and demonstrate um, how much you're going to be needing for you to start trading the foreign exchange market. Now, uh, before I proceed into that, I must tell you guys a little bit about my story. I started trading this market at the age of 17, as most of you already know. And my initial startup capital was about $2,000. Um, unfortunately, I lost that money in the first four months of my trading due to my inability to comprehend price action and my inability to just basically have a general general and overall understanding of the market so basically i came into this market at 17 i didn't really have that much knowledge i had two thousand dollars from my investment not investment my inheritance that my grandfather left for me and i blew it in three months i've been trading this market for about eight years now and as god would have it i have become successful over time so trust me when i say i'm in the best position to tell you how much you should get started with, with within your trading how much you should get started with for your trading, how much you should get started with when you start trading. Any one of them that appeals to you, take it like that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be switching over to my whiteboard. Now, before I proceed to this, I must tell you that, guys, this is my sixth take for this video, and I really don't care anymore. I'm just gonna shoot it. I'm gonna tell you guys what exactly is on my mind, and you guys are just gonna to have to watch it like that, all right? All right, guys, so I'm gonna take you over to my whiteboard to just basically explain to you guys uh, a couple of questions that I would be asking myself if I was in your position. Now, if I was in your position and I really wanted to start uh, learning how to trade or I really wanted to start um, trading the foreign exchange market, how much money would I really be looking at investing in the market? Now, there are four key questions that I'm going to be asking myself and I'm going to be asking you guys as well. We're going to be answering this question together and then we can basically come to a conclusion as to how much money we're going to use to start trading um, as absolutely newbies in this market. Now, the first thing I would like to consider is, right, how much is my disposable investment? Now, what exactly is disposable investment? Disposable investment is how much money am I willing to risk on this investment that will not necessarily affect my day-to-day -day activities. What I mean by day-to-day -day activities, I don't want to go and invest money that's going to probably affect me going to work. I'm not going to go and invest, in, invest money in the market that's going to affect my rent. I'm not going to go and borrow money from the bank, you know, and have the cops chase me up and down the whole place. So the first question I'm going to ask myself is, how much is my disposable, sorry guys, disposable investment, right? I must warn you, my handwriting is absolutely terrible. So you're just going to have to listen to me. All right, mate? <laughs> follow me along right how much is my disposable investment right um i i usually see um from experience a lot of the people's disposable investments that come to me are usually between 500 to 5000 us dollars so we're going to take um somewhere in the middle i want to it's not really in the middle but i i i usually like, just like working with a thousand us dollars right 1000 us dollars is usually a very decent place to start now you might have a lot more money than this you might have a lot less than this but just work with me right when i say 1000 us dollars right so we have we already know how much disposable investment i mean if you lose a thousand dollars today you're not going to die or anything right you're going to die you're going to die if you lose a grand come on man a thousand dollars is not going to kill you right so we're going to work with one thousand let me just write my zeros make them all right, so $1,000 is a decent place for you to start. Now, the next question you want to ask yourself, now this is question number two, right? What is going to be my return on investment? How much money am I looking to make in this? Sorry, guys, excuse me. I need to make sure that I have this all up and running properly. 
Yeah. So I need to ensure that this is transmitting to the camera so that we have perfect audio quality, right? So this next question is, how much is my ROI? Like, what am I looking to... How much money am I looking to return? Like, how much money am I looking to make on this $1,000, right? Some people might tell you, oh, I'm looking to take $1,000 to $10,000, which is absolutely fucking crazy anyways. Do some people tell you I'm looking to take one thousand dollars to five thousand? Some people take like I'm willing to take. I want to take one thousand dollars to hundred thousand dollars. Now, in my own experience, I would advise you stick to at least let's let's, let's first of all start with doubling the account, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, right? Because I, chances are that most of you who are watching this video are either just coming into the market for the first time or are absolutely struggling, right? So for your ability and your knowledge of the market. Let's just stick with doubling the account, right? So the ROI we're looking to make is 100% return, right? Now, the third question is, how much are we willing to risk per trade, right? How much money are we willing to risk per trade? Now, um, if you're probably wanting to take $1,000 to about $10,000, you're probably going to be risking about 50% of your account every single time. And for the fact that you're not exactly that knowledgeable about the market, the chances of you blowing your account is very high because think about it, you only need to trade, you only need to lose, you only need to lose twice, right? Whilst you're trading a $1,000 account for you to blow an account, right? So for every trade you place, you're going to be risking $500. US dollars. I'll take that again. 50% of this is $500, right? So if you're looking to make $10,000 of this, you're going to be risking some really, really high margins on your account. So probably about 50 to 60%. So if we're risking about 50% of $1,000, which is $500, I mean, if you lose the first trade, you're only left with 500 And if you lose the second trade, you're you know, you're left with zero, right? So, I usually advise that traders keep their risk between three to three percent. But personally, personally, I like to keep it at three percent, right? So, I'm going somewhere with this, right? The fourth thing is how long, what's the duration period, right? Don't forget that our target, this is our target, the ROI is our target, our target is a hundred percent of one thousand dollars, which is two thousand dollars. Now, the next, the fourth question is how long. How long is it going to take us for us to make this 100% return on investment, right? Ideally, ideally, it should be 12 months, a year. It should take you a year to make 100% of your, of, it's supposed to take you a year to make 100% return on your investment. Now, a lot of people are probably going to tune off at this point because they're like, what the fuck, how am I going to, why am I supposed to wait for a year just to double my account? And the reason I say this is because if you are expecting to double your account in one month, two months, three months, that means you're pretty much, most likely going to be over trading. And what happens when you start over trading is you expose yourself to unfavorable market conditions. And in, in, in a matter of two, three, four, five trades, you're probably going to run into trouble somewhere along the line. So the next question I'm going to be asking myself is how long am I going to um, trade my $1,000 for before I'm able to hit the 100% um, return on investment? My advice is always 12 months, right? Always 12 months, right? Because um, with this strategy, all you need to do basically, guys, all you need to do basically, guys, is trade just twice a month. Right? If you trade twice a month at, at a risk of 3%, right? You trade twice, don't forget we're risking 3% to make 10% return on our account, right? So if you trade twice a month, right? So 20% um, multiplied by 2 is equals to 20% return every single month. 20% return every single month multiplied by 12 months is going to give you 240% our. Oh, I. Now, the problem is a lot of people are not, they are not satisfied with 240% ROI at the end of the year. Like, crazy, man. There's no investment in the world that's going to give you 240% return on investment in a year. Treasury bills, never. Real estate, never. Ponzi scheme, maybe. <laughs> but the, the Forex market, 240% is absolutely fantastic return. And all I'm asking you guys to do is trade just twice a month, right? And at the end of 12 months, I'm gonna flip this, right? So, 
Remember guys, we're trading just twice a month, right? We're trading just twice a month at a return on investment per trade at 10%, right? So we're making about 20% monthly, right? And after 12 months, right? We have 200, we have returned 224, 220, 240% ROI, right? Now, um, this, so we had an initial investment of about $1,000, right? Now, our $1,000 is now equals to 2,400 $2, uh, US dollars, right? Now, this is absolutely the most intelligent and smartest way to go about your trading. If you had, so, you know, that brings me to the conclusion of my story, right? If you have $1,000, if you come into this market with $1,000, all you need to do is trade twice a month, Guys, if you come into this market with just a thousand dollars, all you need to do is trade twice a month, and you're going to be able to turn your account from one thousand dollars to two thousand four hundred dollars. If you come into this market with ten grand, right? You come into this market with ten grand. All you need to do is trade twice a month, and you're going to be able to return twenty-four thousand dollars at the end of the year. I think this is a more strategic approach to take. And one thing that I always advise most of my students to do is. When you're coming to this industry, don't come up with don't come up with something too crazy, and that takes me over to my first. Um, so I just go to my first picture, which is disposable investment. Come into this market with something you're very comfortable with trading, like one thousand dollars, right? Trade one thousand dollars to make two thousand four hundred dollars, and once you're able to achieve this, this is exactly how your equity curve is going to go, right? Obviously, along the way, not every trade is going to be profitable, but. For the fact that you're trading just twice a month, right? The chances of you hitting a losing trade are very slim, right? You you hit one. You hit the second trade most times you're probably going to be lucky, especially if you're new and you don't really have that much knowledge, right? But the industry, the forex market acts like a casino, right? The market is scheduled to beat you. Um, the market is is programmed to beat you over a period of time. What I mean by this is. The market is going to win six out of ten times you're going to win four times so if you win four times and the market wins six times over a longer period of time the market is most likely going to outperform you but if you stick to just trading twice a month right and you allow the market tangle up during the rest um you are you you, you get it to you trade the first time you trade the second time by the third time when the market is about to fuck up and act up you're already out of the market um you might not necessarily have the technical skills to um carry out this you might want to check in some other videos on my channel i always come up with um technical analysis that's really going to help you and because of the fact that you're just trading twice a month and you're so consistent this you're going to hit winning you're going to hit losing trades but the good thing about it is that your losing trades are not going to be that many should i tell you why because when you come into the market you trade the first time in the month let's say month of january you trade the first trade you make a profit you trade the second time you make a profit chances are that the third fourth and fifth time are going to be losing trades right but luckily for you you're only looking to take the two best trades of the month so um chances are that your 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 equity curve when i mean by your equity curve your growth on your account is going to look like this over a period of 12 months right it's going to look like this right look like this because uh, right okay this is exactly how your equity curve is going to look like right this is in terms of dollar value right so we have uh, we started up at one thousand dollars and we have two thousand four hundred dollars at the top bar here, USD. And we have um, this is the time duration. So we have six months here. We have one month. We have twelve months. So we started off literally at one thousand dollars. So when you pretty much kick off the the the, the trading year, right? You're going to be at at one thousand dollars. You place the first two winning trades. It takes you up here. You probably place. The first trade in February, and then there's a losing trade, and then the market, um, your equity curve dips down a little bit, and then you get lucky enough, you see two more winning trades, and then that's exactly how you're going to be growing your equity curve. Now, guys, you take this equity curve to an investor, and they will throw money at you, right? You're risking just 3% to make 10%. You have a maximum drawdown of 20%. Now, what's the maximum drawdown? The maximum drawdown is basically the most amount of money you are permitted to lose right the most i'm like personally if i lose 
up to 20% of an investor's money. I will give it back to them and tell them, hey guys, this is my threshold. I've traded your account and I've lost 20% of your account and I'm going to give it back to you. And from this curve, it doesn't even look like you hit a maximum drawdown of 20%. So all I'm trying to say here, guys, in essence is that start off with a thousand bucks, start off with $1,000, grow it all the way to $2,400 by trading just twice a month, by trading just twice a month, and return 240% of your investment. And you can show this to an investor. Literally, you can walk into the bank. You can speak to anybody, right? And this is exactly how you start to make good money in the foreign exchange market, right? So you give this equity curve to an investor, right? And you're like, hey, I've returned 240%. It might not even be up to 240% uh, return on your... It might just be 180%. Let's say you just stop here right 180 percent return on you but let's say this is 180 percent return on your investment you tell somebody that i returned 180 percent or let's say 180 percent is too high right let's say it's 100 percent right you return 100 percent of your one thousand dollars which is two thousand dollars guys people are going to start throwing ten thousand dollars at you fifty thousand dollars at you so when it comes to looking for capital in this industry you don't have to worry you do not have to stress yourself all you need to do literally guys all you need to freaking do is get one thousand dollars trade twice a month consistently for 12 months make sure you're choosing the very best trades from my youtube channel trade twice a month and return anywhere between 100 to 240 percent and you're good people will start throwing money at you if i contact me and i'll throw money at you all right all right guys so this is pretty much my um i mean i just started using the whiteboard on my youtube channel so you guys need to cut me some slack but i'm pretty certain that the more i do this the more i will get more comfortable using the whiteboard so guys for those of you asking me how much you should really start with in the fx market i think a thousand dollars is pretty fine right um also you have to remember that you know uh you're not gonna get rich off of your own capital that's another thing a lot of people uh fail to realize you're not gonna make a million dollars in your first trading year you're not gonna get rich off of your own capital most of the rich forex traders that you see out there they do have to take up funds from investors because when they take on when when they're only trading their own money right they, they chances are that they're going to put too much pressure on the one thousand dollars right they're going to be trading six seven eight times ten times in a month and what's going to happen over time they're going to start over trading and then eventually they're going to blow the account but if they're just consistent with making just two winning trades a month with one thousand dollars they can grow it consistently to two thousand four hundred dollars and then they can now attract investors and just think about it if an investor invests a hundred thousand dollars in your trading right and you only make him 20% every month, right? 20% of $100,000 is $20,000. He's going to split that money with you 50-50. He will split the money with you 50-50, 10 grand for you, 10 grand for him, right? That's the best way to make $10,000 in this market. The best way to make $10,000 in this market is to get an investor to invest $100,000 in your trading and then you do 20%, give him 10%, you make 10%, you have 10 grand. Not from taking $1,000 to $10,000. This way, actually, let me just let me just round this up by writing this, right? It's quite a lengthy video, I know. The best way to make $10,000 in the Forex market is to get an investor to invest a hundred grand in your trading, right? You make him 20% return, he, that's $20,000. You split this money in half, he gets 10K, you get 10K. That's the best way to make $10,000 in this for, in the foreign exchange market. The, the, now, uh, yeah, that's the best way to make $10,000 in the foreign exchange market, not by investing $1,000 in your trading account and trying to take this to 10K. This is doom doomsday doomsday this is the best way this this is the best way taking one thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars is not the best way to go about this take having a hundred grand from an investor trading 20 percent of that money making twenty thousand dollars he's going to take 10 you take 10 this is the best way to make ten thousand dollars in the forex market um taking one thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars is the absolute worst way to make money in the foreign exchange market now guys 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 
on that note i hope i've been in now uh one thousand dollars doesn't if you have more than one thousand dollars obviously you can put it in but guys don't go put in 10k 20k 50k in your first trading year that's crazy one thousand dollars as far as i'm concerned is fine i know you're probably thinking that one thousand dollars isn't really going to feed your family but you have to remember in your first trading year you're not looking to use forex to feed your family you're use you're, you're literally in the you're literally um, trading forex in your first trading year to actually try and get a hang of the market right don't quit your day job and jump into the foreign exchange market thinking that oh i'm going to feed my family with the foreign exchange market that's not the that's the loser's mentality you're going to lose all your money trade 1k one last time i need to stretch this shit a lot i know i get crazy right take 1k to two thousand four hundred dollars by trading twice a month right have your track record show it to an investor after 12 months he'll give you money and the best part about the best part about it is if you're able to do this consistently over 12 months chances that you're going to be able to do the same thing with an investor's account anyways guys on that note um this is pretty much the end of this segment for today please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the like button so that i can continue to provide amazing content for you guys on that note uh, i love you guys and in the comment section below just just type if this video was helpful to you and tell me how much uh you would be investing in your foreign exchange account right um okay don't tell me because i don't want to see crazy figures that's going to make me uh, scream but yeah just say something nice in the comment box right say something nice all right guys on that note i'll catch you guys later and take it easy